Hi there, this is Jordan with Hometown Domination. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you some settings uh, that I personally use with a program called Handbrake. If you don't know what Handbrake is, just Google Handbrake, H-A-N-D-B-R-A-K-E. It's a free download, and essentially it's, it's a video file compressing system. And it'll allow you to take a, a rather large video file and manipulate the settings however you want to get it to the exact uh, file size that you want or just to do a uh, just to compress the file down to a more manageable size so I do videos for clients professionally a handful of clients I do videos for and with the settings that I'm about to show you are the ones that I use personally there's multiple different uh, arrays of settings you can use depending on the outcome that you're looking to achieve but for me these are the settings that I use and only the most professionally trained eye and ear could tell the difference between the two videos so first, obviously, you open up the program Handbrake. And the program defaults with the search window, so don't think this is strange. Um, I keep most of my files on my desktop, so you just look for the file. And typically, you're going to be looking for a, a .mov file. So select that. Make sure that the source up here, the title, is the correct file that you just chose. Sometimes uh, things weird can happen, so just make sure it's the correct file and make sure your destination is the right place. Um, I always default, just an extra little tip, I always default my files going to the desktop so it's easy to find them. And really it's a, it's a very basic system or process, step-by-step -step process I go through. Uh, obviously make sure this says MP4 file and you click Web Optimized. You go down here to Audio, change the bit rate from 160 to 128. Go to the Advanced tab, change the reference frames to 4, from 2 to 4. So again, just to go over that, number 1, make sure this says MP4 file. Number 2, you check Web Optimized. Number 3, you go to Audio, select the bit, the bit rate to be 128. Go to the Advanced tab and change the reference frames from 2 to 4. And that's simply it. Then you go up here and you click the little play icon that says start and it begins the encoding and for the example uh, just just for an example the file that I did this morning um, the, the the source video file was 1.1 gigabytes and I ran it through the settings that I just showed you how to use and it spit out a video file that was right about hundred and ninety two megabytes so it cut nearly a, a gigabyte off the file size and again only the most trained professional could tell the quality difference. Um, I barely even can tell. Um, that's only because I've seen both files and can tell a very minute difference between the two. So there you go. Hope that's useful for you, and we'll see you again on another video soon.